Rick, thanks for your time. Can you just explain us what is generative AI? It seems to be the really the new thing. It is, uh, it is the new theme, but it's been uh, around for quite some time. Generative AI is really a driver of massive productivity improvement, if you think about it. Sure. It can write software for you. It can write term papers, I suppose, for you. It can, uh, it can help in sales and marketing support and many other areas, but it is a driver of productivity. But the thing to remember about generative AI is it is only as good as the underlying data set mm -hmm. that it accesses. How do you guys use it at Dynatrace? Is it, well, a, is it new for you or not? It is, uh, it is fairly new for us, but yep. what's important is that AI is not new for Dynatrace. Uh, we use several different AI techniques, including causal AI, predictive AI, and then generative AI. And it is the combination of those three elements that really comprises our Davis AI engine that, that drives the analysis and the precise answers that we deliver out of Dynatrace. Yeah, just let's take a step back. Just, can you just explain to viewers what Dynatrace is and where you actually operate around the world? Of course, uh, we, we operate uh, globally. Dynatrace is the leading observability company and what we aspire to do is assist companies in delivering software that works perfectly. So you think about the increased complexity of workloads of software, it is easier to deliver software. It is harder to make it work perfectly. Mm -hmm. microservices, containers, all of these different elements make it more difficult to deliver software that works perfectly. We provide the tooling to oversee that and assist companies in ensuring that it is always working the way their end users expect. As the interest in AI has really increased over the past couple of years, what's that meant for your business? It's, it, it's, uh, it's continued to expand as a result of, of the criticality of what we do in delivering these services. You can imagine that, that uh, if it is becoming harder to deliver software that, software that works perfectly, then you need something like Dynatrace to assist you in delivering against those objectives. One thing we have seen is the value of tech companies in America really expanding over the past 12 months. There's some analysts say we could be reaching a tech bubble. Do you have any concerns about that at all? Are you uh, positive about the future? <laughs> well, it, it, yes. I mean, I'm, I'm, uh, I can't really, I can't really respond to what happens into the future visa, visa, v, uh, visa, v, the overall performance of the company or otherwise. What I can say is that AI, as we've been reporting on and delivering for the last decade at Dynatrace, is a core element of our value add to the market because it is unique in our space in really delivering a level of precision of answers from data that does not otherwise exist in the market. Right now, we know it is a challenging economic environment, not just here, but in other countries around the world. How are your clients feeling? Are they still really willing to invest in IT services and technology at the moment, or are they starting to pull back a bit? Well, from a macro environment, we've, we've stated uh, from the beginning that we, we haven't really seen any, any change, and sure. we're not really reporting on financials at this point, but at, at the... Uh, at the outset, we knew that it was going to take some time to work through the macro conditions, and I think that will continue to persist. How big a focus is cybersecurity? Because we've had some really big companies in Australia over the past 12 months suffer some pretty big cyber attacks. Is it just a matter of time before you get attacked, or can you actually prevent this stuff from actually happening in the first place? I, I think both are true. <laughs> yeah. I think it's the case that uh, it is just a matter of time before every company gets attacked. And in fact, it's not just a matter of time. Every company is getting attacked multiple times, thousands, maybe even hundreds of thousands of times a day uh, already. It is just a matter of the defense in depth strategy of security that you deploy to respond to and manage those attacks. Now, from a Dynatrace perspective, we see observability and application security really converging in the sense that observability data that we deliver through AI can in fact help fight security challenges and threat factors that exist in the market. And Rick, just quickly, what brings you to Australia this time? We, uh, we had our, uh, our regional customer conference here in Sydney, but uh, we hosted it here in Sydney for all of Asia PAC. We had uh, a couple of thousand people uh, online, plus, uh, plus several hundred here in Sydney. Delighted to be here. We have uh, many, many customers in, in Australia and very enthusiastic about the opportunity, Ed. Rick McConnell, thanks so much for your time. Thanks so much, Ed. Appreciate being here.